high. Now we will summarize the main principles about 25 point. It's important to summarize it. First one, what we call it emptiness contain place, time, electromagnetic and gravity fields. The light moves by the medium speed, not by its speed. It's the speed of the medium, speed the domain. Hmm? Changing the medium changes the speed. If the light goes through glass or water, the medium change and the speed change. And exactly when exit this medium to another medium directly the velocity changed without any acceleration hmm? that means it is not the speed also one reflex come and return the same speed without any acceleration stop and change the direction so it is not the speed of light it's the speed of the of the uh, medium. Mm. Third point, light speed is absolute by all means of measuring. Mm. So we have to start from the speed, from the tangent speed and its curve. Mm. So its curve may be different, more or less, but the tangent speed is conserve it, it's, it's absolute. Mm? So when the light move, move on this tangent speeds, on the circles of the emptiness. So it push it. Mm? Mm? In, an, in a high speeds, the time and the place return united. In light speed, the time and the place return united by the speed itself. So the time and the place, what we feel it, time and the place, it's is the our differentiated or analyzing this tangent speed, the curved speed to radius and time. Radius and time. Radius that means one direction, place and time, it's curving. Hmm. Not the opposite. It is not going to unite it. We analyze it because we belong, we stand on stability from our virtual stability, find it different. Time and place. But in reality, if we jump this special virtual position to the general position, to the uh, uh, objective position that means we have to start from C not from the stability hmm. in C speed time and the place became one thing the essential movement which compose the emptiness and the light move by it hmm. so the emptiness is the resource and the the end of any power. Hmm. From stability, we differentiate it in two components, delta place and delta direction. But they are one essential end movement as a world. The first existence level starts from bent movement. Its magnitude absolute C. Hmm? Seven, it's the same if we say the centripetal speed is the time of C, define its radius R, or if we say the time is the angular speed of C's radius. Here, R is a place and W is a time. The time place is exchangeable 
in its relation with absolute C. So absolute C, C equal W multiplied by R. Like a world, we are connected to the time stream, our existence doomed to the now. We cannot move via the time, but we can move in the place. Geometry, representation of the speed, uses the vectors, which has magnitude and direction. Its derivative keeps the direction only, without the magnitude. So, the derivative, to derivate the vector, we keep the direction and it's a changing. Changing the directions, without the magnitude value. In magnet, its magnitude enters the calculation as relation of quantities. The magnitude enters the calculation as relation of quantities, square. What we see and calculate is not the reality, but the derivative of its speeds. We omit the time. Ignore the time. It is derivative of the reality. It is not the reality. What we can calculate. The direction is important unit must be taken in our calculation if we start from the objective existence which is movement not stability multiplying the vectors depend on the angle between them if cosine theta equals zero the direction is united the simple calculation works Calculation works by dividing the magnitude to units and use the logarithm of the units as a number. Hmm? Any unit we define it zero power uh, x power zero equal one unit. That's the unit for any x. Logarithm of u0 equals 0. So, logarithm of u power 1, p1. If cosine theta equal 1, the second vector works as centripetal to the first, clockwise or anticlockwise, counterclockwise. The magnitude of the first converged, but the direction gain angular speed and radius of circle that represent, that represent the second results. Its derivative keeps the directional changing only. Sum of it in a closed line has direction but without beginning or end. Hmm? The derivative of multiplying C speed with another centripetal speed represents the magnetic field P. As directional moment, its magnitude is C itself, which is still absolute. Hmm? Shaking B field changes the momentum to moment and produce E field. E field has its stability plane of P and it is perpendicular to it. Always perpendicular to it, the relation between them like the screw between delta P and E. Delta P as a plane, as a circle plane and E as the perpendicular Delta place on stability, not on movement, because it's perpendicular to the level of curve time of the uh, magnetic. 
The angular waves of the directional speed is a front wave on the radius of the whirl. From these waves of electromagnetic field, the photon composed and move by C itself, defined to himself, the photon, its direction and its type, hertz, and its total energy, which produce out as electromagnetic, so it is, its age is not so long. So it has, it has age, and it has amount, and this amount of, of uh, of energy disappeared gradually by time and by moving. The electron also composed from the same thing but in another way. So, so the destruction of the mass produce energy also proportional to C speed E energy equal mass multiply by C, C, that is, mean that the electron is, is photon multiply by photon. Two photons grab each other, and we are going to know what is the mass in the second series. To continue.